Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Very excellent. But, what's up, gamers? Look. Remember I told you that communication is the key? Communication is key in, in video games? <laughs> L listen to this. Xvalve Dev say Steam Early Access doesn't work for a PC game launch. It says uh, a former Valve Half-Life Portal Left 4 Dead Dev explained why Steam Early Access can work against the creators of a new game. <laughs> we shall. We we're, we're gonna find out though. It says here, uh, Steam Early Access extremely helpful for developers, especially. If they're launching a brand new game and want to get preemptive sense of players' reaction, you launch an in-progress uh, build. You make some useful cash selling to your most uh, ad adherent uh, fans. You you use their feedback to iterate and improve the game before the 1.0 launch. However, in some cases, Steam early access may be detrimental to PC game makers at least that's what one veteran uh, Valve de developer whose credit who, whose credit includes Half-Life 2 Portal Left 4 Dead and Counter-Strike Go argues he says Slade Aspire Subnautica Vampire Survivor, Survivor some of the best love games of the modern era started life on Steam Early Access Chet's uh, uh, Fel Felizek, a founder of Stray uh, Bombay and previously of Valve, the Half-Life 2 episode, Portal 2 and Left 4 Dead, also has a game in early access, co-op shooter, uh, Anacurus. It says the multiplayer game, a multiplayer game in the vein of Left 4 Dead, it launches in full on Tuesday, December, December 5th. After already earning mostly positive rating from initial adopters. However, Felizek says that he will not not use Steam Early Access again and that for the future projects it will be closed beta all, all the way. I think one of the reasons I will never do Early Access again is how player accounts are seen by Steam and then downwind by the community. Felizek explained, SteamDB will say we have one player yesterday, we have 10,000. Some cross-play, sure, but also some, and then it says in parentheses, of how they get counted for small games. And that stat gets thrown out every time we do an update. Anytime anyone men mentions us, there is some small number of people on Steam who just instantly wants to post dead game and then state a stat sheet from SteamDB. Not just on our game, but any game that is under the threshold of the real number to be counted. It says here, and instead a number is synthesized on the bad data and always amazing, amazingly low. Felizek says say that player count data for smaller games in Steam Early Access can impede developers as they try to increase their fan base ahead of a full 1.0 launch. If a game is perceived as dead, owning to report reported figures would be players are less likely to try the game for themselves, especially if it's driven by multiplayer. The, really, the reality of us growing bringing in more players is lost on that and work against smaller uh, developers trying to see the early access ecosystem for how it was in design and for us working towards our December 5th launch. Fellas like says for future projects it will be closed beta all the way. And then it says SteamDB founder uh, Pavel uh, uh, Junk Dun junk junk dick <laughs> has since respond to Felizek in a post on Twitter. It's clear it's cl to clarify that player number features on Steam DV come directly from the Steam API, 
meaning there is no interpolation, regardless of a g game player count. He also clarifies that SteamDB shows the number of concurrent players, not daily players. <laughs> okay, maybe that needs to be improved. It says, inspired by Left 4 Dead, Felizek's new game and Akira sees four-player team combat increasingly tough aliens and monsters as they cooperate to survive aboard a, a style, stylized 70s retro-futuristic spaceship. Felizek has recently discussed his work on Left 4 Dead, explained how legendary zombie shooter was such a broken thing when it launched in 2008. If you're a big Left 4 Dead fan or want to try something else, as we wait for an Acurus, check out some of the best FPS games you can get. Also get the best co-op PC game co-op games on PC. Okay. So okay. Okay, so Steam all right, maybe okay, maybe Steam needs some improvements as far as like you know uh player count numbers when it comes to okay, daily players, um weekly weekly players, monthly players, um and uh in a in a beta uh beta players um when it comes to uh uh, Steam to, uh, to early access but now to get back to what he's saying about uh, uh, early access like I told you guys um, uh, communication uh, is key in video games it's very important so when you have early access closed beta open beta um, you know um, communication is key because you know early access closed beta open beta you know you know it, it it's a it's really helping the developer to thrive now far as left for dead be, being launched in a um in a broke in a broken state the question is this okay was it in early access was it in a beta in a closed beta or open beta and what was the numbers of those people like you know um in in the in early access open beta closed beta because that could have helped uh, the developer from having a bad launch so uh, you know in early access open beta closed beta you know it's a protection you know you know uh, closed beta you have a certain amount of people and their opinions uh, kind of vary open beta now is like anybody can get into the beta. And then uh, the feedback is bigger than a closed beta. So a closed beta does not outweigh the um, the uh, open beta when it comes to uh, video games and early access. You know, it's almost the same as an open beta. You know, <laughs> it's almost the same. So um, you know, I mean, but you still get feedback from early access. But early access, open beta, closed beta, it's really a protection for the developers. You know, and they're supposed, and it's a tool. So it's a tool. So they're supposed to use it. Now, of course, you're gonna get some negative feedback. So no, um, you're gonna get some negative feedback. No developer goes through video games unscathed, <laughs> just like me. No YouTuber that does YouTube goes through unscathed. You're gonna get, you're gonna get some negative, you're gonna get some negativity along the way. So that's a part of the world. That's a part of life. And that's just the way it is. Nobody goes through, uh, goes through, uh, you know, uh, through the video game industry on Skin. You're gonna get some negative pushback, and how you respond, you know, it's you know, how do you respond? It all comes down to um, the developer. Um, sure, sure, Steam can make some improvement, as far as like you know, like okay. Uh, regular players, weekly players, monthly players, daily players. How many players showed up on the beta the first week, the second week, third week, so, something like that, and give and and that will give the the developer some some understanding on where they wait, uh, where where they are when it comes to uh to uh to um to the consumer and user feedback. So it's not it's not all bad. <laughs> You know, it's not all bad when it comes to, you know, early access, open beta, closed beta. You know, 
there, there's beneficial. There, it's a benefit. Now let's take uh, let's take EA for a minute. Let's take I'm gonna use EA as an example here. Let's say um let's say uh, EA uh, let's say EA um had a had an early access or an open beta or an open beta and or a closed beta. That would have saved them a lot of headaches. Especially, especially with Anthem, that's one. Like, okay, we, we're coming out with this game called Anthem. We want to see what you. Uh, we're about to release release this game on such and such a day. We need your guys. We need you guys' feedback to help us fix this game so we can have some success with it. If they would have done that, it would have saved them a lot of headaches. Okay, it's the same thing with Battlefront. Uh, <laughs> Battlefront Two. You know, they should have had a like. They should have asked the consumer, like, okay, what do you, like, okay, what do you guys think of, like, okay, what do you guys think of, um, loot boxes being in a video game? We came up with this idea for loot boxes. What do you guys think? If EA would have done that, it would have saved them some headaches. But no, they tried to be sneaky, and then, and then they had to pay a price. So, early access, open beta, closed beta, um... It's good for the developer, you know. I mean, sure, this former developer can nitpick all he want, but I'm sure if Left 4 Dead was in an open beta or closed or, or, or early access, the feedbacks would have helped that game a lot, because you know you, you, you got a whole bunch of play a whole bunch of people um, playing, and they will give you your feedback, and they're like, okay, you know, this need to be fixed, that need to be fixed, this need to be worked on, this need to be improved. You know that would have helped the developer a lot. So um, to say to to try to nitpick on early access, okay, Valve might need to fix some things when it comes to that, but that can be fixed. Okay, look at um, look at Rare with a uh, with our Sea of Thieves. When Sea of Thieves came out, not not everybody was as responsive as they were. But one thing, but one thing, Rare Studios did was what was what. They open a line of communication, and they uh, talk to the users, and the users gave them feedback. And the feedback that they got, they took that and turned it into an update. And look at Sea of Thieves now. I think what what what's the user base? What third? What up? At, what almost forty million users? Somewhere around there. So, early access, open beta, closed beta. It really helps the uh, really helps the developer. Huh? Because in a closed beta, you're limited. You're only limited to the amount of players you can have. And then their opinion is going to be different now when you, when, when you decide to release the game after the beta. Because now the rest of the world now wants to play the game. And their opinions are, are going to be really different from the closed beta. So um, early access, open beta, closed beta. Um, it's good, man. It's a protection for the developer, you know. So, yeah, um, uh, you know, some games, um, some games you can put them in. I mean, it depends on how. Uh, uh, some some games you do, some games you can um, uh, you can you, you don't have to put them in early access or beta because you already have the um, you already have the everything that you need to make the game what it is, you know. For, um, and you can look at the games that came out, you know, that, that were successful. Were they in an open beta, closed beta, you know, or early access? So, um, yeah, um, you, can, you can have games like that, but still, early access, open beta, closed be beta, I mean, it helps the develop it helps the developer a whole lot, man. So, I, I think this former dev is, you know, um, is that, I mean, uh, I mean, sure Valve can improve the, you know, the way they, uh, you know, uh, rate the, you know, um, rate the game, like, okay, how many people were playing on week one, week two, during, during the beta, stuff like that, they can, they can, they can improve that, but, open beta, close, early access, it's good, man, <laughs> for those, for those who want to use it, you know, versus releasing a game, and it, releasing a game, and then, like, you know, uh, <laughs> it didn't go through the early access, open beta, closed beta, with no feedback. 
Yeah, now, 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 now you're really in for it, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like with Halo Infinite, you know, yeah. Same thing, so, yeah. I mean, but, I mean, I mean, communication um, is key, you know, in this gaming industry. It's, it's really, um, it's, it's, it's really, it's really important, man, in, in video games, man. So, uh, feed, feedbacks are good, you know. Um, you're going to get some negative feedbacks, but... Use the uh, use the use the feedbacks as a uh, as motivation if you get the point, you know. So yeah, and then go on from there. Other than that, it's the game industry for you, man. Um, you know, um, nothing's per nothing's perfect, you know. <laughs> you know, so yeah, um, you're you're gonna you're gonna get some um, you're gonna get some negative feedbacks. You are, but. Just because you get some negative feedbacks on your game that you're making, it doesn't mean that um, you walk with your head down, you know. It's either you're going to use that as motivation and then improve the game and keep going. I mean, I could use the Avengers. I mean, look at Crystal Dynamics. You know, um, you know, Crystal Dynamics can fix the Avengers if they want to or if they choose to. They do have that. They can't. They they can fix that game. Okay, so um, they 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 should have used. They should have put that. They should have put that game through a like, uh, like a like a open beta and let the work let the um, let the gaming community see what they're doing. Uh, okay, and then use the feedbacks from the from the players to to build the Avengers, man. But of course, DC Universe did give them a template to work with. They went against it. But yeah, <laughs> but other than that, man, um, yeah, um, you know, Crystal Dynamics can, um, they can, they can fix, they can fix that game, man. You know, so, so they should have instead, instead of, instead of like, uh, I would say like running away from the game, they should have like, you know what, we're gonna fix this. We're not gonna leave this game like, we're not gonna leave this game in this state. They could have taken the game back to the drawing board. So, okay, we need to fix some things about this, and then go about and then go about it that way, you know. But yeah, but early access, open beta, closed beta. I mean, they're, they're good, man. You know, it's not a bad thing. You know, I just think this developer here, he's just mad that the number count. He's more worried about the number count. That's what he's worried about. You know, so maybe Valve now need to fix that. You know, like okay. Open beta had this many players, okay. Uh, closed beta has this many players. Uh, early access has this many players. Week one, week two, week three, whatever. And then go go on from there. But other than that, yeah. They're good tools to use, man. Uh, open beta, no, early, early access, open beta, closed beta are just tools to use. Anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, the Star Wars and Star Trek fan for Dark Side. Go. Peace.